Welcome to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast, your go-to source for personal, professional, and organizational growth and development. We hope you tune in often for all things people management, organizational development and change, organizational leadership, and social impact related. Maximize your personal and organizational potential with Human Capital Innovations Podcast. Welcome to the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. In this HCI podcast episode, HCI Research Associate Dr. Maureen Andrade shares about leadership for change through reframing, the ability to lead change and anticipate its impact in an organization is a critical leadership skill. Bowman and Deal's reframing approach helps leaders envision the impact of change on structures and people and manage political and cultural elements. Viewing an organization from a single frame or perspective has been the downfall of many prominent leaders. This podcast explains how to reframe using structural, human resource, political, and symbolic lenses to facilitate lasting change. When I was in my doctoral program at USC, the University of Southern California, I took a class from Terry Deal. Dr. Deal is a well-known leadership consultant who's taught courses at a number of universities and is now retired from USC. He is perhaps best known for his book, co-authored with Lee Bowman, called Reframing Organizations now in its sixth edition. Much of what a leader does is related to change, and it's also one of the most challenging aspects of being a leader. If you look at job postings for executive positions, they typically include something about vision, innovation, change, and strategy. The reframing model is based on the idea that leaders need to see challenges and opportunities in their organizations through three frames, structural, human resource, political, and symbolic. By doing this, they can envision how a change will impact various aspects of an organization, such as its structure and people, as well as political and cultural elements. Adhering to only one frame limits a leader's perspective and results in inappropriate or ineffective actions. In their book, Bullman and Deal show how executives fail time and time again because they are primarily focused on people or structure or vision while ignoring other critical aspects of their organizations. When you ask people in a job interview about their leadership style or philosophy, you can invariably recognize which frame they are coming from. The tendency of leaders to get stuck in a single frame necessitates making a conscious effort to examine all four frames. It is also wise to seek the perspectives of others who may be more skilled at using a different frame. Each frame offers a different view of an organization and helps guide change. Let's take a look at each frame and the metaphor associated with it. The structural frame is compared to a factory. It's related to roles and responsibilities, tasks and deadlines, processes and systems, and how the work gets done. It involves planning and organizing, and emphasizes clarity, control, and coordination. The next frame is the human resource frame, and the metaphor for that is family. This frame focuses on the fit between people and the organization. People want meaningful work and want to feel valued, and the organization benefits 
from their ideas and abilities. So job satisfaction, skill development, autonomy, and motivational factors are all things to consider with the human resource frame. The third frame is the political frame. And it is associated with the metaphor of a jungle. It involves considering diverse beliefs, personalities, values, and interests of people in an organization. Differences create conflict. Limited resources and competition require making difficult choices. As a result, leaders need to form coalitions, resolve conflict, and consider their power bases. The fourth and final frame is the symbolic frame. And this is associated with creating a sense of purpose, inspiring and influencing, articulating a vision, and using stories, traditions, and myths associated with the organization to create connections and commitment. The leader is seen as a prophet or a visionary who can engage people's hearts and minds. The symbolic frame also involves celebrations, events, and rewards. The metaphor associated with this frame is theater. The symbolic frame emphasizes becoming united through organizational culture and providing direction and stability. The reframing model provides a broad perspective on an organization rather than specific steps to follow when engaged in change. Motivational issues can be addressed through the human resource and symbolic frames. Confusion regarding goals or overlapping responsibilities uh, suggest a need to emphasize the structural frame. Anxiety, instability, or fear can be resolved by considering the symbolic frame. However, with each situation, leaders need to look through all four frames to gain insights into what's happening or anticipate what could happen and how to address it. Bowman and Deal's model ensures that all aspects of an organization are considered in the change process. In my own leadership roles, I have considered the model frequently. Examples include changing processes, adopting new software, reorganizing departments, and launching different initiatives. If you want to learn more about the frames and which one you are strongest in, Bowman and Deal have a quick instrument on the website for the book. Best wishes as you apply this model to lead lasting change. Thanks again for joining us for this episode of the Human Capital Innovations Podcast. I hope you stay healthy and safe and that you have a great week. Check out our new weekly LinkedIn newsletter, Alchemizing Human Capital, exploring industry trends via original research and interviews with executives and thought leaders from across the globe. We look forward to having you join us.